you were having coffee with me, I'd welcome you to my corner of the internet and invite you to make yourself at home. The weather has been very weathery of late. It's like experiencing all the seasons in one day. Winter in the morning, scorching summer at midday, late afternoon thunder showers and freezing nights. It's been a week since a new currency, the Zig, was announced, and so far, it's been mostly chaos. As service providers sneak in increments in prices under the guise of conversion. The hardest hit has been the commuting public with change for commuter fares that normally costs $1 for two passengers, either just bumping up the price to $1 or inventive use of snacks and other knickknacks as change, or simply pairing of passengers to resolve the change between themselves. Retailers usually just force you to pick up extras for your change. If you're having coffee with me, I'll tell you that part of the problem stems from that as soon as they announced a new currency, no one wanted anything to do with the old currency. Think of it like a game of musical chairs. Anyone left holding the old currency notes at the end of the month, when the music stops, will be left with a worthless pile of paper. Why doesn't someone simply bank the old notes, you might be wondering. Well, for some strange reason, the Reserve Bank governor decided to add a KYC requirement declaring how one came by such money for anyone depositing over 100,000 ZWL, which would be about $3 at the closing interbank rate. The government has launched a blitz operation to arrest those who are refusing to accept the old Zimbabwean dollar notes, which remain as legal tender until the end of the month. Funny thing is, the police who are policing the exercise refuse to accept bribes in local currency but will happily accept United States dollars. So what for must happen? If you're having coffee with me, I'll tell you that Econet Mobile Telecommunication Company introduced revised tariffs for their data, which is a low-key way of saying they increase their prices. Now their prices for data bundles cost more than its cost in the United States dollar, which is a subtle way of saying they prefer you pay their services in United States dollars. An equally strange coincidence is that on the day Equinet announced new pricing structure, Starlink users in Zimbabwe received an email citing that they are using the service in an unregulated territory and the Postal Regulation Authority has requested that Starlink services be disabled pending an official raises agreed agreement. Imagine if you had forked out money to acquire a Stalin kit and overnight it threatened to become an expensive paperweight. As we say in Shona, Moromboa Rorich Nenguo. If you're having coffee with me, I'll tell you that shopping in the supermarket is currently an interesting experience. Everyone is out with their calculators trying to figure out what's going on and everyone has this slightly quizzical expression including the cashiers who just smile as they explain how the price is the way it is. If you meet any random Zimbabwean in the street and simply say, ah, the zigs, you'll have your ear chewed up as someone narrates their ordeals over the currency conversion. But of course, we try to lighten up the joke and maybe a catchy jingle. What's been going on in the world? I've been focused on our domestic issues. It's like you open your eyes and realize maybe that a third world war might not be the distant and unlikely event as we tend to think. What's been going on in your neck?